All right, so we'll go ahead and, and get started. Um, I am, in case you haven't taken a class before, my name is Jen. I'm teaching a vinyasa style um, flow practice, so we're linking breath and movement. Please honor your body tonight. If um, you're feeling like you need to take it slower or need to take a break, please do so. Um, if you uh, have a variation and a pose that you like in your practice and I'm not calling for it, um, by all means, if your body is ready for it, go ahead and, and do it. Um, all right. Okay, great. So welcome, everyone. So um, tonight we're going to start on our backs. So go ahead and lay down. Um, if you can, please place the soles of your feet together with your knees apart and then lay down. And right away, place one hand on your belly, place one hand on your heart, and maybe you close your eyes. And just start to arrive here on your mat. So by arriving, check in. You've got a hand on your belly and a hand on your heart, two very powerful centers in the body. Check in with how you're feeling tonight and what kind of energy is with you on the mat. Maybe you're tired, a little frustrated. Maybe you're super happy. All of that affects our ability to arrive and be calm and focus in on the breath. So just notice where you are tonight without any judgment, just taking stock. And when you've completed that, you can then turn your attention to your breath, just noticing the way you're breathing tonight. And as you're sitting here breathing, notice your body is gently melting down with your, your exhales. And as you inhale, you're bringing in new energy, which you can release again with your next exhale. Inhaling again. See if you can bring the breath a little bit higher up on the chest and then exhale again. Try to make your breath even and steady. Continue to take in a breath, nice and deep, and then exhale. And as you continue to breathe, steadying out the breath, ask yourself what you need from your practice tonight. How is it that your practice can serve you? We're here for just one more big round of breath. Now we'll begin to move. So now you can take your hands uh, outside your knees and bring your knees towards the sky. Now bring your knees towards your shoulders and soles of the feet to the ceiling for happy baby. Go ahead and take it easy tonight. Hold on to the outsides of the thighs and just sort of rock side to side. And then come to center here and hold on to the toes if you can reach them, keeping your shoulders and tailbone on the mat. Press your feet towards the ceiling and press down on the feet. Take an inhale. Exhale, release the feet. Cross the right knee over the left 
and interlace your fingers and place them around your shins if you can, or just hold on to each shin and bring the knees in a little bit closer to the chest here. Breathing inhale. And exhale. Extending your arms left and right, allow both knees to drop over to the left. See if you can soften that right shoulder down and maybe take your gaze over to the right. Inhaling here. And exhale. Bringing your knees back to center. Once again, a happy baby, super easy and gentle. Knees towards your shoulders, soles of the feet to the sky. And then release, crossing the left knee over the right this time. Again, holding onto the shins and gently bringing the knees in close to the chest. Inhale. And exhale. And from here, open your arms left and right, palms to the sky, and gently drop both knees over to the right. Taking your gaze to the left and breathing here. Inhale, and exhale. Bring your knees back to center. Bring your shins parallel to the mat. Take your arms, we'll do eagle arms. So right elbow under the left, backs of the forearms together or interlacing the hands. And as you take an inhale here, Point your right toe, bring it down to the earth as you squeeze your thighs together and then fingertips overhead. And as you exhale, crunch up, elbow to knee. Pull the belly in down towards the mat. As you inhale, extend, touch the toe, touch the finger, and exhale, elbow to knee. Again, inhale, open up. And exhale, elbow to knee. One more time, inhale and exhale. Feet down, release the arms, extend them left and right. Cross the, the knees right over left this time. And we'll take left arm under right. So press the forearms away from the face here. Start to feeling, feel an opening between the shoulder blades. Take an inhale, tap the toe, tap the finger, and exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale and expand. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, last one. And exhale, pull the belly in. And release, feet down to the earth. Hands by your side. Set up for a bridge pose. We'll do a dynamic bridge. So fingertips will graze the back of your heels here. Toes are pointing forward, feet hip distance apart. With the inhale, start to press down into the mat with the feet, lifting the thigh bones up to the sky, and raise your arms overhead, completing the inhale with hands overhead. And then as you exhale, pull the belly in, gently round back down. Inhale, lifting up, arms overhead, pressing hips to the sky. And exhale, slowly rolling down onto the mat, hands by your side. Again, inhale, rise on up, lift the hips, chest towards your chin. And exhale, come back down. This time, keep your hands where they are on the mat and start to press down into the feet, especially the inner part of the feet. Energetically, the knees are moving in towards each other, lengthen through the thigh bones, gentle squeeze of the glutes, chest towards your chin. Inhale and exhale, slowly roll back down. Knees come into your chest. From here, we'll rock on up and then on over into tabletop position. All right, so hands are under shoulders, knees are about hip distance apart underneath your hips. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, find your cow pose. And as you exhale, pull the belly in, press down into the mat, lengthen the arms, 
round the back. Inhale. And exhale, pull the belly in. Press through the tops of the feet, chin towards chest. Last time, inhale, arch the back, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. And exhale, pull the belly in, round the back, chin towards chest. From here, let's find center. So slight engagement of the core and left foot to the back of the mat, right foot to the back of the mat, plank pose. Hold your plank. Nice strong pose. Arms are nice and long, fingers are spread wide. Tailbone moving towards the back of your mat, crown of the head moving forward. Strong through the thighs, inhale. Exhale, lift the hips high without moving the feet, down dog. And inhale, shifting forward into your plank position. And exhale into your down dog. Pull the belly and lift the hips high. One more time, inhale, shifting forward into your plank position and exhale into your down dog. From here, bend your knees, look at your hands, take an inhale, and as you exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat, forward fold. Feet are about hip distance apart, bend the knees, hold on to opposite elbows, start to sway. And as you sway, you might start to press down into the feet, lifting the hips a little bit more. Gentle with the hamstrings here. And now let's come to center. From here, let's find a half lift. So nice flat back, pulling that belly in. And bend your knees if you need to. You can even widen your feet if you have to. And take the right hand down to the mat under the shoulder, bend that right knee, lift that left arm to the sky. So start twisting open. Think of stacking the shoulders here, really lean back. And exhale, left hand will come down, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, lift that right arm to the sky. Press down with those left fingertips, really reach high. And one more time, right hand down, right knee bends, left leg is straight, reach that left arm high. And exhale, left hand down, right arm high. From here, right hand comes down. Walk your feet back in towards each other. Place your hands on your hips, press through the feet, and roll on up, pulling the belly in towards the spine. Coming to stand at the top of your mat, hands at the heart, pausing for a moment, feeling your body in space. Noticing if you're leaning forward or leaning back. Engage your quads, crown of the head high and releasing hands by your side. Two rounds of sun salutation A. So inhale, lift the arms high, reach up through the side body. And exhale, forward fold. Flat back. Inhale into a half lift. From here, hands under shoulders, feet to the back of the mat, plank pose. Inhale here. As you exhale, drop your knees down to the earth. Hips are high, elbows by your ribs as you bring your chest and chin down to the mat. Inhale into a baby cobra, press to the tops of the feet, lift the heart, and exhale through your down dog. Coming into child's pose if you'd like to. In your down dog, belly is lifted, heels are pressing down to the mat. You're pressing the mat away from you with your palms. Chin towards chest. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Next, inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Step, jump to the top of the mat. Inhale into a half lift, a nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach up. Take your gaze high. And exhale, arms by your side. 
Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Palms under shoulders, feet to the back of the mat, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga and up dog or knees to the mat, chest and chin down to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. So really reach through the big toes, lift up through the heart. And exhale, down dog, possibly passing through child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Noticing how your breath is changing with movement. Can you bring it back to an even inhale and an even exhale? From here, let's lift that right leg to the sky, keeping your hips side by side. Yeah, so if you look at your right foot, your toes are pointing down. Keeping your right leg straight, start to open your hips to the right. Equal pressure in the palms as you bend that right knee, reaching your right big toe towards your left bum. Shoulders are facing the mat. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Straightening that right leg behind you, hips side by side one more time. As you exhale, shift forward to plank and bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale and extend. Exhale to the left elbow. Inhale and extend. And as you exhale, come through center, knee towards nose and pause. From here, look at your hands. See if you can step your foot between the hands. Coming into a runner's lunge. So keeping that heart lifted as you press back through that left heel. And start to send that right hip back. Feet should be about hip distance apart. From here, lift your belly off your thigh and reach your arms forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, right foot to the back of the mat, plank pose. Passing through vinyasa or take a break. Child's pose or come into your down dog. Pausing in down dog, noticing your breath. And with your next inhale, lift that left leg. Again, hips side by side. So looking at that left foot, toes are pointing down. And then from here, keep that left leg straight as you bend that left, I'm sorry, straighten, um, hips, hips to the left, sorry, and bending that left knee, yeah. So press the mat away with the palms, equal pressure, right? Inhale here, and exhaling, straightening that left leg behind you, inhale. Exhale, shifting forward to plank, left knee to left elbow. Inhale and extend. Exhale to the right elbow. Inhale and extend. Exhale, passing through center, pausing, lifting knee closer to chest. Look at the hands. Step that left foot through. So you're setting up for a high lunge here. So make sure your feet are hip distance apart. You'll find a runner's lunge, bringing the chest forward. Nice strong back leg, pressing out through that right heel, lifting the quad to the sky. Left hip is moving back. Start to lift your belly off of your right thigh and extend your arms forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, hands to the mat, look forward, step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and fold. Feet come together. Heels slightly apart as you bring your hips down and then lift your arms by your ears for chair pose. Sending the weight into the heels to so start to lean back. Nice strong belly. Upper arms are by the ears. Pinkies are rotating in towards each other. Sink your hips two more inches. Sink your hips two more inches. 
and two more inches. Without moving your lower body, interlace your hands behind your back. Start to bring your shoulder blades together, inhale, and now exhale, fold. Hands come off the body, lift up towards the sky. Hands release to the earth, find a half lift with an inhale. Hands under shoulders, step to plank. Begin to move through your vinyasa. So knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga to up dog. Gliding forward, inhale, baby cobra, up dog. And exhaling into your down dog. Checking in with the breath. Inhale, lift that right leg to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Find a runner's lunge, inhale. Lift the belly off the thigh, extend your arms forward, inhale. And as you exhale, come on up, high lunge. Yeah, take your right hand, hold on to your left wrist. So lift that left wrist up and let's side bend to the right. So your inner thighs are moving in towards each other energetically. You're sinking down into the right heel. Nice, strong back leg. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step yourself to plank. Go right to your down dog unless you feel like you really want a vinyasa. Left leg will lift to the sky. Left foot will step forward. Again, finding that runner's lunge, start to lift the belly off the left thigh, sending that left thigh back or left hip back, reach your arms forward, inhale. And as you exhale, come on up, high lunge. So your front knee is over your ankle and you'll take your right wrist in your left hand. Inhale, lift, left, I'm sorry, right arm up and side bend over to the left. Inhale here, and exhaling, release, arms reach high. Hands to the mat, look forward, step forward. Feet hip distance apart, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, arms reach high. Sinking the hips down just a couple more inches, couple more inches. Interlacing hands behind the back, press the palms together, shoulder blades move towards each other, inhale, and exhale, forward fold, hands to the sky. Inhale, hands down, half lift, hands under shoulders, step to plank, begin to move through your vinyasa, knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga to up dog, or take child's pose, take a break. Whatever you do, move with intention and move fluidly. From here, lift the right leg to the sky. Right foot steps between the hands. Your back foot pivots at 45 degrees, setting up for warrior one, arms reach high. All right, so in warrior one, we're looking for either uh, having your ribs face the top of the mat or your hips. Hips may not be possible, so ribs are good. Front knee over ankle. From here, let's take the arms right and left. And we'll go left arm under the right, eagle arms. So if eagle arms isn't comfortable for you, you can always press the forearms together. As you inhale, press down through the outer edge of that left foot, lift the elbows to the sky. And as you exhale, come back to center. Slowly start to lean over that right leg. Body's at a diagonal here. Come onto the ball of that left foot. Center the weight over the right foot, warrior three. So arms are in eagle arms, body parallel with the mat, hips facing down, inhale. And as you exhale, swing that left knee up and cross left knee over right, eagle pose. Sink the hips down, pulling the belly in towards your spine. Elbows are about shoulder height and you're pressing the forearms away from the face. Inhale here, 
and either stay and continue to breathe or bring your elbows down to your knees. Inhaling and exhaling. From here, coming back up right, releasing hands down to your hips, lift that left knee. Opening the left knee up, finding your tree pose. Here, I'll face you. Left foot will find either the inside of the thigh or somewhere along the inside of that right leg, hopefully not on your knee. Hands can remain at the heart or extending the arms to the sky. Continue to press your left knee behind you. So we wanna open up. All right. And if you wanna challenge your balance, take your gaze up or close your eyes. Energetically squeeze everything into the center of your body here. Really use your core to stabilize you in the pose. So pulling the belly in towards the spine. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, release hands down to the heart. Left leg, swing it back behind you, finding your warrior three. And releasing left foot to the back of the mat. From here, let's straighten the right leg. Pivot the toes towards the long side of your mat, hands to hips. Toes face forward or slightly pigeon-toed, pressing down through all four points of the feet. Take your hands, interlace them behind your back. Press the shoulder blades together and let the shoulders go down the back as you lift the heart. And as you exhale, pull the belly in and forward fold. The hands go high. Start to lift the tailbone to the sky. Let your head be heavy so it's nice and loose, no tension. One more breath. And exhale, release hands to the mat. Let's crawl the hands to the back of your mat, pivoting your left toes to the back of the mat and setting up your right foot. So we're in warrior one. Arms reach up. All right, so from here, arms left and right. This time, right arm under the left, forearms pressing away from the face. So as you inhale, sink down and lift the elbows to the sky. Find a baby back bend here. And as you exhale, start to straighten through the spine. Now gently lean the body halfway forward. Pivot on the ball of the right foot. Center the weight over the left foot. One step, warrior three. Nice and long through the body. Reach through that right heel. Forward through the crown of the head. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to lift that right knee up and cross right knee over left. Eagle pose. Lifting the elbows up a little higher, pressing them away from the face, opening up through the shoulder blades. Staying here, keeping that belly in. Sinking the hips, or exhale, bring your elbow down to the knee. Inhale here. And exhale, start to come up right if your elbow's to your knee. Releasing the hands to your hips, bring that right knee up. Opening the right knee out, finding your tree pose. Take the right foot somewhere in inside the left leg. Thigh calf, ankle, hands to heart or lift the arms to the sky. So pressing everything into the center of your body, nice and strong through the core, challenging your balance with the gaze if you like, looking up or closing eyes. Inhale here and exhale. Hands come back to the heart. Bring the right knee forward. Exhale into your warrior three. And right foot to the back of the mat. Once again, straightening that left leg, pivot the toes to the long side of your mat. Toes in, heels out. Hands interlaced behind the back once again. Pressing palms together, shoulders roll down the back as you inhale and lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Hands high, head heavy. 
See now if you're leaning into your heels, bring some of that weight forward in the foot. Inhale here. Exhale, release hands down to the earth. From here, walk the hands to your right foot. Toes pivot to the top of your mat. Hands under shoulders, step to plank, and begin to move through vinyasa. Knees, chest and chin, chaturanga and up dog, or skip it all together, and we'll see you in down dog. And from here, let's lift that right leg to the sky. We'll step the right foot forward. Once again, we're in our runner's lunge, feet are hip distance apart as you inhale, lift your arms to the sky, high lunge. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. So that back foot pivots down, foot is slightly angled, so toes are slightly turning in. Energetically, we want to move that right knee towards the pinky side of your toe, or pinky side of your foot, right? Shoulders are over the hips, belly in, ribs are in, your gaze is over your right hand. Inhale, and exhale here. Next inhale, reach forward, flip the palm, reverse. So let that left hand slide down the leg, take your gaze up to the palm or down at your left foot, but sink down into the right knee. One more breath as you breathe into the right side of the body. Inhale. And exhale, return. From here, extended side angle. So reach forward. Forearm stays on the knee and the left arm. Sweep it in front of the body. Reaching the left fingertips towards the top of your mat. Taking your gaze either up at that left hand or underneath your left armpit. Rotating that right rib towards the sky. Inhale here. And exhale, pull the belly in as you come up, warrior two. Flipping the front palm reverse, left hand slides down the leg, sink down into the right knee. Return, warrior two. Half moon is next. So we'll start to shift the weight into the right foot. Reach forward with that right hand. Maybe you've got a block, or you can take your hands down to the mat. And that left arm, reach it towards the sky. Spin your hips open, stack the shoulders. So your lifted leg is nice and strong and active, so flex that left foot. If there's a variation on this pose that you'd like to take, please go ahead and take it. You don't need to take a variation. Inhale. And exhale, bend the right knee, left foot to the back of the mat, warrior two. From here, left arm swings forward, pivot on the ball, that back foot, high lunge. And as you exhale, left hand down to the mat, right arm reaches for the sky. So stack the shoulders here, really reach up, lean back, nice strong left thigh. Exhale, right hand to the mat, step to plank, moving through your version of vinyasa, moving with your breath. Letting it be smooth and even. Letting your movements be even. Meeting up and down dog. Noticing the quality of your breath right now. Left leg lifted to the sky. And we'll step the left foot forward. Starting in the runner's lunge. And coming on up into your high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two, second side. So hands are equally reaching forward as they're reaching back. Left knee is energetically moving towards the left pinky side toe. Gaze forward. Inhale. And exhale. Next inhale, let's reach forward, flip the front palm, reverse. Right hand slides down the leg. Breathe into the left side body as you sink down into the left knee. Inhale. Exhale, belly in, shoulders over hips, warrior two. Extended side angle, reaching forward. Left arm to the knee, right arm reaching towards the top of your mat. 
spinning your heart open. So heart reaching towards the sky. Breathe into the right side of your body here. Inhale. And exhale. Come on up, warrior two. Again, flipping the front palm and reversing. Right hand sliding down the leg. Returning back to warrior two. And half moon. Reaching forward. Strong through the left leg. Left toes are pointing towards the top of your mat. Left hand's reaching down under the shoulder. Maybe it's on a block or your block substitute. Right arm reaching for the sky. Pressing out through the right heel. Spinning the hips open. Taking a variation if you want one here. Otherwise, stay where you are. Breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Slight bend in the left knee. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Warrior two. From here, right hand moves towards the left. Spin on the ball of the back foot, high lunge. And with your next exhale, right hand underneath the shoulder, left arm reaching for the sky. Reach up, look up. Right thigh strong, press out to the right heel. Inhale. And exhale, left hand down to the mat. Step to plank. Moving through an optional vinyasa. Again, taking your time or noticing that you don't really want a vinyasa, meeting in child's pose or in your down dog. And everyone coming into down dog. And feet are hip distance apart. As you exhale, let's come into plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists. So we'll side plank on the left side. So if you already know that you like to drop the left knee, you'll start to move into that variation. Otherwise, you can pivot your heels to the left, maybe stack right foot on top of left and reach the right arm to the sky. So either your left knee is down to the mat supporting your hip or you're pressing out through your heels, your legs are nice and strong, just as if you were standing up. Shoulders over hips, right arm reaching high. Inhale, exhale, right hand to the mat, plank pose. Take an inhale here, exhale, knees to the mat, child's pose. Hips back, knees can be open or closed. And if you'd like to rotate the wrists here, that works. If you wanna keep your arms straight, that works. Whatever feels good to you in this moment, hands can be by your legs, forehead down. Inhale here, and exhale and release. Returning to your plank pose. Plank, feet are about hip distance apart. That right hand is underneath the shoulder. Fingers are spread wide. So we're side planking on the right side. So if, again, if you like your right knee, drop down to the earth. I'll demonstrate that on this side. Otherwise, pivot heels to the right. Maybe stack that left foot on top of right and reach the left arm to the sky. So if we're in full expression of side plank, we want to be lifting our hips closer to the ceiling, right? So nice and strong through the core, nice and strong through the legs. Inhale here. And exhale, left hand down. And moving into child's pose. From here, look at your hands. Start to bend your elbows down towards the mat as you slither your body forward, coming onto your belly. Take your hands down by your hips. Palms are facing the ceiling. Toes are pointing directly behind you. As you inhale, lift your torso off the mat. So look forward, but down, but lift forward and up. Arms will lift, legs will lift, locust pose. Reaching through the toes and the crown of the head as your fingers are reaching back. Nice active palms. Coming up a little bit higher. Inhale. And exhale, release. Take one ear, place it on the mat, and wiggle your hips side to side.
forehead returns to the center of the mat. This time your hands will interlace behind your back. Begin to bring your shoulder blades together. So the shoulders move down the back and towards each other. Press the palms together, lift the arms off the body, lift everything off the mat, but the pelvis, the lower belly. Press the palms towards your feet, reaching out through the toes, lifting the legs a little bit higher, lifting your upper body up, one more rib off the mat. Inhale. And exhale, opposite ear to the mat, releasing hands by your side and wiggling your hips side to side. And now hands will be underneath your shoulders. And start to press yourself up and come into a wide-legged child's pose. So toes together, knees apart. Arms reaching towards the top of your mat as you bring your forehead down and your hips towards your heels. Breathing right here, softening through the belly. Feeling some release in the lower back. Noticing your breath. And one more breath here, inhale. And exhale. Start to lift yourself up. And let's come to a seat. All right. So let's extend that left leg forward. I'll face you. Extending that left leg forward. And take the right foot, step it over the left knee. You can stay with this left leg forward or tuck the foot by the hip. If you're tucking the foot by the hip, make sure that you can feel that right sit bone when you sit back down. So keep that left foot connected to the mat and your right hand behind. You don't want it too close to the body nor too far away, enough that you can sit upright. So inhale, lift, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, let's twist to the right. So wrapping that um, elbow around the right knee as you inhale, lengthening through the spine, pressing down through your sit bones, and exhale, twisting a little bit more to the right. Again, inhale, lifting and lengthening, and exhale, twist a little bit more to the right. Take your gaze over your right shoulder, roll that right shoulder back. And then from here, let's look forward and take your hands to the outer left hip and just counter twist here. So leaning forward and down and releasing. From here, let's extend the legs um, out wide, wide legged seat. Repositioning yourself here so you can feel both sit bones. Your legs are active and strong. Knees are pointing up towards the ceiling. From here, as we inhale, let's lift the arms to the sky. So we'll hold here, really press down through the sit bones and press out through the heels. Reach up through the side body. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to forward fold. So the belly starts to pull in, your tailbone starts to tip up towards the sky. Try to keep your lower back flat. So you may not come down as much. Just place your hands down wherever you can feel that that's enough, right? Your lower back is flat and you're forward folding. Continue to press out through the heels so both feet are flexed here. Inhale here and exhale. Start to crawl your hands back towards your body. From here, legs come together. The right leg extends forward. And the left foot steps over the right knee. So you can take that right foot and either keep it long or we'll tuck it right by that left hip. Again, if you're tucking by the hip and want to feel the left sit bone down on the ground, All right? Uh, left foot stays connected to the mat here. So left hand behind, sitting up tall. As you inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, twist over to your left. Inhale, lengthening, rooting through your sit bones, lifting up, making space. And exhale, twist a little more to the left. 
Again, inhale, lengthening. And exhale, twisting a little more to the left, rolling that left shoulder back. Gaze is moving over your left shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take the gaze over the right shoulder, hands to the outer right hip to counter twist. And return to center. From here, let's extend the legs forward. Seated tree pose, left foot inside the right thigh. So that left knee is out to the left, active and strong. We'll take this left hand and see if you can reach for the outer uh, parts of your right leg. So that could be outside the calf or outside the foot, just so that you can center your torso over the right leg. Inhale here. And exhale, you can take that right hand and either cross it over the left or release all together and let your hands fall wherever feels most comfortable. But inhale and exhale. Belly in, stay long through the lower back. Try not to round down there. Try to keep the rounding at the top of the back. Left knees moving down towards the earth. Inhale here. And exhale. Start to crawl your hands back up towards the body. And this time we'll take that left knee and we'll cross it right over the right. So the idea here is we're gonna try to stack the knees. I don't know how best you can see me, but try to stack the knees here so that we're tucking that right foot close to that right, I'm sorry, tucking the left foot close to the right hip. The right leg stays long. You're sitting up tall. And for some of us, this is a lot, right? So we'll just sit here interlacing hands around that left knee, sitting up tall. If you want something more intense, as you squeeze your inner thighs together here, you can start to crawl your hands forward, noticing your belly, lifting it gently towards the spine. Inhale here. And exhale. Start to release. Hands towards the body. Left leg long. The right foot seated tree on the other side. Right foot in towards that left thigh. Sitting up, feeling both sit bones. And you can take the right hand to find anything along that left side of your leg, the outer side. So calf or outside of the foot. So just basically centering your torso. Inhale and exhale and fold. Finding what's comfortable. Right knee's moving down towards the earth, staying long through your lower back. Inhale. And exhale. Begin to release. Hands walk towards the body. And now the right knee crosses over the left. So again, we're trying to stack the knees as best we can. The idea here is to squeeze the adductors together. Take the right foot, tuck it by that left hip as best you can. Left leg is active and strong, so flex that left foot and either stay right here, nice tall spine breathing, or exhale, forward fold, crawling hands forward as feels comfortable. Squeeze your inner thighs, inhale. And exhale, release, hands walk back towards the body. From here, let's place both feet on the mat. So the option here is for reverse tabletop or reverse plank. Reverse tabletop, feet are hip distance apart. Hands are behind you, maybe six to eight inches, fingers pointing towards your feet. Spread your fingers wide as you inhale. And exhale. Next inhale, pressing through the palms and the feet lifting the hips. So take your gaze forward, or if it's comfortable and you don't throw your neck back, you can take the gaze up towards the sky. Reverse plank, your legs are straight. Toes are pointing down towards the earth as you lift the hips. Inhale, one more breath. And exhale, bum back down. One forward fold here, so feeling both sit bones. Inhale, lift, reach towards the sky. And as you exhale, forward fold. Some of you might bend your knees, keeping that lower back flat, letting the top of your back round. Breathing right here. One more breath, inhale. 
exhale. Slowly release. Fingers reach towards the top of your mat as you slowly roll down onto your back. Setting yourself up for your Shavasana. So if there's a final pose you feel you need right now, it could be a twist, it could be another happy baby. Maybe you just come right into Shavasana. So Shavasana is corpse pose. We wanna get ourselves settled in here. Do any kind of fidgeting that you need to do right now, just so that you can feel your body release and surrender. And then releasing any remaining tension, let the brow be soft, soften through the jaw by opening up your mouth slightly, letting the jaw relax, and maybe closing your eyes, releasing any control of the breath, feeling your body melt down. So I invite you to stay right where you are. Or if you'd like to follow along with me and make your way to the seat, we'll start by gently bringing some movement into the body, beginning from your own pose. And then start to waken the breath up with a deep inhale, 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 inhale. Open your mouth, release. <sighs> And you're either continuing to lay down or you're working your way to a seat at the top of your mat. And if you're seated, let's bring hands together at the heart, sides of the thumbs pressing in towards the heart center, and bowing down in gratitude. And breathing right here into the space of calm. Thank you all for coming to class today. It was an honor to see you again. Namaste.